Good morning. This week's uh, foreign exchange is about the dollar yen or the yen overall. Last week saw a massive stimulus uh, through monetary easing from the Bank of Japan. Its uh, supposed impact was to be, of course, to weaken the yen. Unfortunately for Bank of Japan, Japan overall, it remained pretty much in the same range it's been in for a long time, which is 75 to 95 and a half. Uh, we don't really see any major changes to the yen overall. The tail risk is again increasing with the fiscal cliff in the US. And with the only thing really able to save the dollar yen could probably be that US interest rate is starting to rise slowly. Although, of course, the whole world is skeptical that this will actually lead to inflation in the US that we have this monetary experiment. But for both the uh, dollar side and the yen side, in the dollar yen, it is of course two central banks uh, who has hit the panic button inside the last two weeks. And as such, of course, uh, you should expect the, the move to be uh, unchanged as they are both uh, doing this race to the bottom. Uh, in terms of the fundamentals drivers, we think the US economy is better, so ultimately we do see a higher dollar yen and maybe one of the trades for next year could be uh, exactly to look for, for the weakening of the yen. But, uh, there's been a lot of uh, losses taken on trying to pick the bottom in dollar yen over the last uh, 20 years. So we will wait just a little bit longer for, for that move. But overall, we see a slightly rising trend as we overall for the week see a stronger dollar. Good luck.